But see, dogs, once again, they will treat you like you are the enemy if you come through. Like, you know, I'm not dealing with X, Y, and Z from a woman. Are you a weak ass dude? Because a real man, he is just tolerated. And a real man, he is just let me get away with what I need to get away with. And a real man, he will let me dictate him. And a real man, he will let me control him. And Charles is like, no, nah, that's bullshit. That's like a damn simp lollipoppy to me. A sucker, an easy lick to me. That ain't no, that ain't no masculine man. But see, this is what they teach us today, Charles. We can hit 700, y'all. Y'all give us 635 likes. This is what they teach us today. They teach us that masculinity is a pushover. Masculinity is you being able to tolerate the disrespect of a woman. Whoever can tolerate and put up with the most disrespect from a woman, you are masculine, sir. That's so much bullshit in that, Charles. Thanks again, Chris. We're going to get, oh, let me get into that for a second, though. Uh, Chris says, Fab Sneaker, once a man is pants and square for a woman, it's all over. Stand on your square, aka your bow. Ooh, you know what, Chris? You're just dropping so many fucking bars. I don't even know what to say. Okay. But this is fast. But let's go into the different levels and layers, y'all. All right. Y'all like the video. Hold on. We live in a world where they are teaching men that masculinity is being able to tolerate the disrespect, the disrespects and the neglect of women. And whoever can put up with that the most, you are the strongest. And that couldn't be anything further from the truth. That is absolute nonsense. This is why you have men walking around here depressed, stressed, all kind of damn diseases and ailments under so much damn pressure because look at what they are teaching you guys what masculine men are, what masculine men do. It's completely as backwards. It's teaching y'all, look, if you if you're not a real man if you don't if, if you're not a real man if you don't let your woman walk all over you. Your woman is your little princess. Yeah, I know she a grown ass woman and she disrespects you and don't ever reciprocate. But you must be a weak ass dude if you leave her. If you don't take care of her. Tough enough. Man enough. And it's like, nigga, you the weak one. You. I don't care how much motherfucking bass you put in your voice, man. You are still the weak one. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. That's you. It be some of the most macho um, looking, macho sounding, noodle back, simp, weak, sweet. Like, dude, are you serious? Yeah. A real man, he gonna, he gonna let his woman dictate and ruin his life. He can handle it. Yeah. Let a woman come through. Destroy everything. Her ops are fucking loopy. And if you're a real man, you'll be able to rebuild that shit. And it's like, bruh, that's stupid. That's dumb. No, a real man stands solid on his square. Because once you give a female any room to continuously disrespect you and get away with murder, it's hard to go back. It's hard to correct that after the fact. It is. 
Because after so many times of doing that, you create a monster. You create a selfish entitled monster. Well, you let me do it last time, and but but if you was a real man, you would let me do it again. And if you was a real man, you would just let me get away with it. If you was a real man, I'm telling y'all, the cleanup process is much more hectic once you um, allow a female to just disrespect and neglect and just shit all over your foundation. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's the thing though, Chris, because I'm, I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to be fair, right? So while it is important, and I love that Chris said that you should stand on your values. You should absolutely always stand on your values, stand on your principles. You know what I mean? Don't, don't waver from those things. If it's important, don't waver from it. However, there are going to be instances, you guys, to where you're in a relationship and you're going to have to make certain adjustments, certain compromises. You know what I mean? To where it's like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't entirely want to go with that. But, I mean, it's not going to make or break anything. So let's go ahead and, you know, again, make a compromise, make an adjustment. You know, for the, the I guess, the well-being of the relationship, right? And, and the same thing for your woman. If you're with a woman, it's going to be something that maybe she doesn't entirely want to do or entirely agree with but it's not going to make it break anything and again you're the man so i'm going to make those adjustments for you you know so it's going to be times is what i'm trying to say chris to where you're going to have to expand a little bit and you know be a little more a little bit more lenient or welcoming or accepting of some certain things that maybe you wouldn't otherwise want to do or whatever the case is that's just a part of a relationship right making compromise that just comes with the territory however if it completely goes against everything that you stand for it completely goes against your values, right? You don't waver from that. And that's what they are teaching, Chris, men to do today. They're teaching y'all to waver from your core principles and values all for the sake of a woman. And all that happens is you create this mess because slowly but surely you're chipping away at your foundation right? Your values and your principles, that's your foundation. You build upon that. That's what makes your foundation strong. But once you start compromising those things, as far as your morals and your values and your principles, that's when it's a problem. Because chipping away at that is going to have, you're going to start crumbling. Because you're essentially selling your soul, selling your masculinity, selling you. You are your principles. You are your values. So if you're going to allow a female to come through and just be like, oh, okay, well, I know that you don't agree with this and I know this goes against everything that you stand for and everything that you are, but I'm the prize and you're not no real man unless you're just going to go for it. Good luck, sir. Because once you make that kind of compromise as far as your integrity and your masculinity in yourself, it's only a matter of time before everything else just slowly but surely crumbles and disintegrates. So you do, as a man, like my big brother Chris is saying, you do have to stand solid on your square when it comes to your values.